our normal timing for planting on rye, I want to be, well, basically now the end of September uh, is an ideal time for here. Uh, the farther north you go, the kind of earlier you want to get because you want to have plenty of growth time in the spring or in the fall so that they can get some tillers on because the more tillers there are, the more heads you'll have the next year uh, and the more established the plant's going to be. You can plant later in the fall, but you're not going to have much fall growth. You need to crank up your planting population to do that. Right now I can plant at a pretty light rate and have a fantastic stand in the spring. Uh, so that saves me on seed. So I can get as good a yield or better planting early at lower rates, saving me money and, uh, and that works out well. It works also that we're doing this into, what we're planting into today is gonna be into a hay field. So I can get in there. If I was going to be following soybeans or corn, I'd be waiting a while because none of our crop is ready yet. I'm two weeks away from soybean harvest. So that pushes me back into the middle of October, which is a later planting date than I really want to put in uh, my small grain. So that you have to plan out well in advance as far as your, your timing of everything. Because if you want to follow a standard grain crop like corn or soybeans, you have to plant an earlier variety so you can get it out of the field and get your small grain in the field in, in a timely manner. As soon as possible, yeah. The, it was a problem last year because the, the stems were so green in the beans that I, I couldn't harvest the beans as early as I would have liked. So I didn't really get the triticale drilled until, oh, should have looked it up. Uh, it was pushing the 15th of October when, and you'd really like to have it in by the 10th for sure. And the earlier the better, you know, but. I just couldn't combine the beans. And I'm trying to trying to find some earlier beans that are aphid resistant, um, but that's been a little bit of a problem too. But I'm working on it. Iowa State University did some research a number of years ago on the best methods for growing winter small grains with red clover. In the extension publication that was a result, they offer recommendations for best management practices for winter small grains. They recommend planting winter grains like wheat, rye, or triticale by October 5th and to up planting populations when planting later. If I can keep it around a million seeds per acre, I'm going to be pretty happy at this time of year. Uh, in another week or two, I'll be cranking it up to 1.2 million and then 1.5 uh, towards the end of October if I was to seed that late, which I'm not planning on right now unless we get some weird weather. <laughs> 